hundred grams of wet flour. Give me a recipe for rice, black olives, and just a pinch of salt. Give me a red onions, onion, oil, sugar, and celery. This is my tasty cooking show. Welcome to my channel, Cooking with Shan Shan. Today, what I'm going to make is one of the iconic Chinese food, dumplings. How exciting! A lot of non-Chinese people actually thought that everyone in China grew up eating dumplings, which is not true. Dumplings actually originated from northern China. So people from northern China they eat dumplings over Chinese New Year or all year round. Whereas people who are from southern China, like myself. We actually eat sticky rice balls over Chinese New Year. Even though we have access to dumplings and wontons in the market, we don't eat that over Chinese New Year. Interesting fact, right? Anyway, so what I'm going to make today is just a cabbage and pork for the stuffing of the dumplings. You can easily substitute with beef for the protein if you like. Hope everyone enjoys this recipe. Let's get it started. Alright guys, our first step is to start the dough for the dumplings. Simply mix flour, water, and salt together and kneel the dough until it becomes really smooth and supple. Let it rise for maybe a couple of hours before we're going to make the dumpling wrappers, okay? So let's do that. So now we're waiting on the dough to be ready. Simply just to prepare some ingredients for the stuffing. I have some cabbage here. I'm going to chop it really thin and marinate with some salt just so we can get the juice out of the cabbage and simply wash and drain. And then for the ground pork, I'm going to chop some green onion, ground some ginger, and mix it all together with the cabbage for the stuffings of the dumplings, okay? Let's get this part started. Okay guys, after a few minutes, as you can tell, there is cabbage juice coming out. Simply drain the juice and uh, wash it, squeeze it, and then just uh, uh, save it for the stuffing later on. Okay, here comes the most important part, okay? I believe that the stuffing of the dumplings is what makes the dumplings taste good, right? So I'm going to mix the ground pork I have here, or you can use beef if you like, cabbage, green onion, ginger, and other seasonings I have here, just to mix it all together until they are fully marinated, okay? So let's do that. Alrighty, almost to the final step. I'm going to take the dough out. Uh, it's been sitting for like two hours, so it's pretty much ready. Uh, and then we're going to dust more flour over the counter to keep it from sticking, you know. 
um, simply take it out and then you can put it and roll it out into like long strips and then cut it into small pieces and then flat it out with this rolling pin and then make sure the dumpling wrappers, okay? So let's do that. Alright guys, as you can see, once we roll it out to these long round strips, we simply cut it into maybe between 25 and 30 dumpling wrapper balls and then flat it out with a rolling pin. When you try to flat out the dumpling wrappers, try to make them as nice and round as possible. It's okay if they don't turn out very round, like some of mine here, they don't look very good, right? But you know what, it's the flavor that matters, right? Alright guys, so we're going to wrap the dumplings, simply put the meat in the center, okay? Fold it. Alright. Just squeeze it. That's it. Alrighty, the final step here. I'm going to start a pot of water. Simply bring the water to boil and then put the dumplings in at cold water twice. So that's when you know the dumplings will be ready. And then we're going to also put some of the dumplings in the steamer just to show you guys different ways of cooking dumplings, okay? So let's get the rest of the work done. Excited, I'm so hungry. Alright guys, that was the recipe for cabbage and pork stuffed dumplings. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up, like and share if you did. And you know what, please check out my food blogging website on Cookly Bookly. They have amazing chefs and extraordinary recipes. Alright, I will leave the link down below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye!